Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel TOEFL IBT Today I'm gonna show you how to register for the TOEFL IBT online I will take you step by step on how you can create your own TOEFL IBT account and all other related information So I'm gonna go to the Google and type in ETS which is the organization responsible for making the tests and all other uh, uh, TOEFL IBT related information uh, and there are two types of uh, for registering for the TOEFL IBT uh, either you can go to the test center and you give them the information your name and your password, a uh, copy of your password and they will create account in the TOEFL IBT or you can go to the ETS as we will do right now organization until no it's not ETSY it is just ETS which is the uh, the educational testing service for the TOEFL IPT and n not just for the TOEFL it is for the GRE and many other uh, other uh, tests uh, I recommend this way because uh, it's a it saves you uh, up to fifty dollars, which uh, which can be paid to the test center as a local uh, money. Uh, and the other advantages is that you can go to your uh, TOEFL IBT account and you can change uh, the information. In, uh, so let's get started on how you register for the TOEFL IBT. Uh, okay, we have to go to the this address ETS who. The internet is a little bit slow. We have to scroll down until we find the TOEFL. There are these are the uh, the tests that the T the ATS provide. The, uh, we have to click on this icon, the TOEFL. Okay, and then we have to scroll down until we find register now and we have click here okay if you are uh, so if you have already registered for the top of IBT so you can type here your use user username your password and click sign in but so far uh, we haven't registered for the top of IBT I will take you to the steps that you well, create your own TOEFL IBT account. Here you have to read these informations and pay close attention to them because they are very important. The first one, they said the name uh, you use when you register must match exactly the name of the identification document, meaning that you have to write down or type in the uh, name that matches your pass password or your driving license or any other ID cards so I'm gonna write uh, a fake name not a uh, real name so I'm gonna write uh, FA for example as my first name uh, in, in this the contacting information they are very important once you have registered you cannot change them unless you fax the ETS or email them and give them a copy of your passport and you you give them the uh, the problem that you want to change the spelling or to add a name or you either you can email them or you have to contact them with the I, uh, I mean make a telephone call so if you have let's say that you have two names I mean four names uh, one first name two middle names and one last name so you have to write here to the first two names so let's say that your name is Ali Ali Ahmed and you have to write in capital wise you have to capitalize the first letter I mean the first letter sorry alright Ali with capital letter and here your middle name let's say that it is Said. and here the last name 
let's say Mohammed okay and all this information with the red star you have to tell them and you have to type them there uh, scroll down and tell you see uh, the suffix and the prefix you don't have to put it uh, I'm a male you have to put down the date of birth the year 19 let's say the country which is Yemen right here uh, you have to find your own country Yemen and After that, the address, let's say, Sanana. And Sanana too. Okay. The country, the Yemen. Cell phone, fake cell phone. One three six four one zero. Oh, I type myself three. The email address you have to go to your email address, which is the Then click continue. Please enter a city name. Oh, we have put in. Oh, the city is somehow. Sorry. And hit continue. Okay. Then the step number two is part two of two of four. Additional background, the country of birth, you have to type it. Yemen, oh, mistake. Where's Yemen? Here's Yemen. Native language is Arabic. Is Arabic. Here it is. Country of citizenship is also Yemen. In what country do you want to study? Let's say uh, let's say which one country? Okay, I'll check Canada. Which of these includes your age? So you have to type your age. I'm here right now. Uh, current level of study, you have to choose your background study, you are undergraduate, you are a graduate, I am right now a graduate. What's your next level of study? Okay, it's a graduate also. Field of study, it's engineering, I'm a mechanical engineer, so I'm gonna say engineering. And once you have finished, click continue. Here is you have yes I understand and I agree. Continue. Okay, create a profile. Use uh, now you have to create your uh, profile and you have to the profile let's say so I'm gonna type a R T. Okay. I'm gonna type my password. Uh, you have to include capital letters, you have to use small letters and also numbers. Let's say A, B, C, 1, 2, 3. 
um, I say it's no, so, um, let's say A, no, Security questions. Choose a security question. What is your father, middle name? No. In which city you were born? I'm gonna say in. Uh, hit continue. Please follow the username rules for creating your name. What's the problem here? Oh, you say you have to. Ah, oh, yes, you have to enter characters or also numbers too. So let's say add one, two, three. Let's say. Three, four. No. So I'm gonna change it. Let's say. Uh, let's say. Go. One, two, three, four. Once you have finished all the information, you're gonna go to this page, which will give you name, your last name, mail, I'm gonna, yeah, right now you can edit your contact information, your additional background information, but once you have finished and you have paid them the money, you cannot. So I'm gonna hit confirm. Yeah, you have to agree to the terms and policy. I agree. So hit agree and then confirm. Now we have created our own uh, 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 TOEFL IPT account. Uh, and in the uh, in the other video, I'm gonna show you how to view orders. Now, right now, uh, we have registered for the TOEFL IBT, and we have created our own TOEFL IBT account. But so far, we haven't paid them the money, so this TOEFL IBT it will no longer be uh, valid, and you cannot. Uh, be sent to a TOEFL IBT test in order to take the exam. But on the other video, I'm gonna show you how you can register for the test here. You can click here for the register for the test and you will pay them online and they will accept it you as an examining and they will send you and you can uh, choose the test center that you want to re uh, take the exam in. Uh, so if you find that you have uh, that this video is useful to you, subscribe to my click like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much.